Let's do a little, a quick study to see how I'm going to compose it. So it's very important to start from, take a look at the top over here. This chart go a little bit too hard, so I'm going to change that to another piece. Okay, I'm going to take a look at that. All the way coming down. So where's this, this center of the whole drawing as I take it all the way coming over here. So it's very important to know where you're going to place it. Okay, right here, and then there was the bottom. The bottom, I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to have, still have this space for the arm. So very much from here, you can see that the face would be more likely over here. So I'm going to move the whole thing a little bit higher. Make it a little bit higher, getting a little bit more space. I don't need that much at the top. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to simply put a little mark coming down like this. It's just almost like a triangle from the shoulder. And this is, would be the arm over here and the back on this side, like that. That's good. Now I'm going to take a look roughly with the face, the chin would be here. I'm not quite sure at this point. I need to do a little measurement. So I'm going to take it to see how the face relate to from the forehead over here all the way to the elbow. How can I divide this space? So I'm going to do the measurement. Take a look from the top, the hairline to the chin. And I'm going to come down to measure one and two. And actually from the top of their arm to the top of their forehead, the hairline. And you can divide into three. One, two, three. Okay, if that's the case, it's pretty easy. I'm going to mark that. This is the hairline, the top over here. And then I'm going to put it, this the top of the arm right over here. And here you go. Now from here to here, I'm going to divide into three. So I'm going to extend that outside a little bit over here. It's easier to see. It's very important to get the Big composition, it's very important. And I'm going to take a look. And it's about this much. I'm going to take a look if they are actually equal space. And take a look over there. Okay, take this part. And maybe a little bit too big on here. It's a little bit too big. This is a bit too big. So I'm going to move this down a little bit. Take a look again from the top over here. Take this part. They need to be the same. Two, that's good. Three, that's just all right. So from here, this is will be the chin. Now I'm going to extend that over here. If you think logically, step by step, and you won't want to miss every single st important step in this process. Okay, take a look at that. And then this is what be the top. And then I'm going to take a look at vertically to see how the front of the face relate to the hand. I'm going to take a look. Uh, interesting. The front of the face almost uh, the edge of the of the hand. So I'm gonna have this coming down right here. And the hand come out a little bit more like this. Let's take a look at one more time. Yep, that's right. It's about over here. Here you go. So that's oh no, it's coming down over here. It should be it's supposed to be this is the bottom of the arm. Okay that's good. And don't rush to make changes or corrections at this point. Take a look at the face, it's still working on the big shape. And let's take a look at the area of the face. Focus on the shape, the area of the face. Very much look like this, coming over, 
with the bun of the chin, this is the face. And we can see that that's the face right there. And then take a look at the hair on the top over here, the hair. And coming down, this is the, the shape. Okay. I want you to think shape, shape, shape. Just think about shapes. Don't worry about, oh, this is a human, this is a face. No, just the shapes is easier for you to uh, measure, easier for you to um, make decisions. If you're seeing it as a person, you're going to stuck. Okay, that's good. Now also from the chin over here coming to the back over here, there's about even a little bit lower. Like this is, would be the direction coming over, coming to the back, coming down like that. This is good. So since we already know, and this would be the thumb, the thumb coming up over here. Okay, here you go. Like that. Here you go. That's the hand. And we're going to measure to see the front of the, the hand over here to the back of the elbow to see compared to the face. I'm going to take a look and compare, I'll take the size of the face over here and then I'm going to, in the reference, not in the drawing. Okay, take a look at that over here. Here you go. I want to take a look. Oh, this very much, very much, pretty close, right over here. It's about from here, pretty close to the thumb. To the back of this, it goes to from here to the top over here. Okay. So this is good. And we already know the size of this. I'm going to move that over here. So, ooh, perfect. So that means double check. It's already good. And always double check on it. On it so it's just not going to miss an important uh, proportion. Okay, that's good. Like that. So that means the bottom of that. Um, it will be here. So this is good. Now I can draw that coming down. Here you go. Coming down over here like that. That would be the ang angle. Now look at the back of, of her. It will be right here. That's good. Now we take a look at the front and the neck. And it's about from start from here. Coming down to this angle, right? It's very simple, like that from here, and coming down all the way to here. Okay, all the way to here. Look at, look at that angle, that's pretty good. Okay, so the front of this, that's almost from here to here is like a one third. There you go, like that. Okay, that's pretty good. And, and then this looks like a triangle over here in the front. So here you go, like that. That's good. So roughly, we already divided into very good space. I think this looks pretty good already, right here. And the bottom over here, and coming down, that connect with the top over here, and that's good. All right, start from here. It's very easy. You're going to divide it into uh, the three proportion. It looks like a, right from the top over here in the hairline to the chin. And you can divide into one, two, three. The eyebrows and the nose. All right. Here we go. Draw the line. Connect the two eyebrows. Okay, like that. This kind of angle. And... The nose, right in the middle, the nose may be a little bit higher. Like that, that's good. That's good. And, oh, eyebrows could be a little bit lower. Because she has a pretty, pretty big forehead. Just a little bit like that. Okay, this is good. And from here, and we can see the middle of, from the nostril. to the chin. I think the middle is right at the upper 
line of the lower lip. Okay, now you can draw this shape over here, put that on first, and then make adjustment a little bit later. This is good, coming over there, and then the lower lip right over here, like that. That's good. Now we're getting there. Now the eye is about one third. Here you go. One, two, three. And then the eye was sitting right over here. No need to draw too serious at this point. A little bit too early. And take a look at the triangle over here to see how uh, was just the overall shape of this. This is good. I have a, a whole series, it's called uh, Portrait Basics. And I'm gonna continue on that series very soon. And here you go, coming down over here. Now take a look, a little curve in a little bit here and then coming in a little bit over here. And then the chin. And then we're gonna get into the details and at the next step. But at this point, we just want to see how the overall shape and the big proportion correct. Like that, that's good. Coming over here. Okay, getting there. You probably feel excited already. So this is good. And now the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to switch to a compressed charcoal. I'm gonna start doing a little bit more clear. And here we go. Now I'm gonna to come to use Okay, a smaller piece of compressed charcoal and a bigger piece over here. Now here you go. Now I'm gonna use this smaller piece coming over here. I'm gonna divide the shape over here. That here you go. That's just good. Let's see a little bit here on this side, uh, merge into the shadow. That's good, like that. There you go. Now I'm gonna make the whole area of the hair a little bit darker. Okay, that's good. Now you see how important that you focus on the last shape a little bit earlier, right? Okay, coming down like that. And this whole area in the middle over here need to be darker. Okay, see the whole bigger shape of shadow. So in your mind, it's a shadow, shadow, shape, shape, shape. Okay. Okay, here you go. Here you go, that's good. And very nice. Over here, a little bit shape over here. And here, come in the back over here. Okay, the neck over here, a little bit darker. Shade it a little bit, that's good. Those, you can make it soften a little bit more, like this. A little bit over here, I'm gonna make this a little bit soften. Uh, that's good. Now I'm going to soften the hand over here. The hand can be a little bit dimmer, a little bit darker. Okay, give it a little bit less, uh, a little bit less important. And the hand is more, uh, the hands in, are important. So but everything important, but what is the most important? So you have to making sure you know what is it, okay? Okay, that's good. Right, go over here, a little bit shape. Now I'm gonna shade it in the back. I'm gonna use this a little bit bigger compressed charcoal. So I'm gonna make that the back over here. That's much faster when you have a bigger stick. Okay, make the background a little bit darker. That would help to make the face is gonna stand out. Okay, that's good. Here you go. That's good. Mm -hmm. Put it nice. 
But I don't want the background texture is so prominent. So I'm going to soften that a little bit to make it a little bit less important. And when the texture is too active, they grab too much attention. Okay, now I'm going to use a different kind of blending tool and a paper towel. A small piece of paper towel because the space is so big. So I'm going to fold this to be like this. This is a very rough texture. Okay, I don't want to press it too much and just softly press it over here and also pull something also into the hair. Here you go, a little bit softer, like that. There you go, like that, that's good. And on the neck, make it a little bit darker. So looking, still keeping your attention onto the large relationship, the bigger space, the bigger area. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna make this also a little bit softer, like that. That's good. Like that, this area, triangle, a little bit darker. Why right underneath over here can be a little bit darker. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my hand, my finger. I'm gonna start moving some charcoal coming up over here. Now I'm gonna walk into the middle area, the middle tongue on the face. Okay, on this side, a little bit shadow on this side too. Under the nose, a little bit darker. Okay, here we go. Now in this eye area, sometimes we have to uh, exaggerate a little bit about the shadow. I'm going to make that a little bit darker over here too. Like this. In the forehead over here, that's fine. Like this. Okay, it's good. Now take a look at the corner over here. Make it a little bit more. And inside uh, the the mouth, the T, a little bit shadow on this side. Also even more shadow on the other side. Okay, like this. All right. I'm gonna make this coming down a little bit. That's pretty good. Okay, now I'm also going to give a little bit of suggestions. So what is in the background? He's always thinking about what's the larger relationship. Now, first I'm going to give it a little bit darker area, like over here on the outside. I'm coming over here. Don't look at the small detail yet. Okay, like this. That's good. I'm going to make this a little bit darker. Also help to make the face to stand out even more. Okay, here you go. Okay, that's good. Like that. Keeps screen your eye. Avoid, us, avoid yourself getting into the small details. Too quick, too much, too fast. Okay, a little bit softer over here, that's fine. Like that, a little bit darker over here too. Okay, like this, that's good. Okay, that's good, right here. Okay, take a look at the back over here. I'm gonna make this just a little bit, a little bit darker. That's just good. Picking some information from the reference, but you are in control. And what you want to take in, what you're not going to take in. Okay, that's good. Like that. And then a little bit shape over here. Now that's cool. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to soften that a little bit. That's good, like that. And then I'm going to come in to use the knit eraser. Okay, now what I want to do, give it a little bit soft. Okay, here you go. Give a little bit soft indication. Feel like a little bamboo over here, like that. We don't have to make it too clear. Like that, that's good enough. 
Okay. And a little bit coming in over here, like that. Okay. That's some interesting. And uh, coming a little bit over here, but we don't want to make it too much. It's a good the pointing into the uh, main characters, uh, main objects. Talk about the figure and ground relationship. Like a little bit over here, a little bit like that, and just give it a, f a few shapes. That's good enough. Okay. And I'm going to have a little bit. Showing a little bit bamboo coming down. That's good. That's over here. Give it a few shape. Okay. Like that. Maybe one more over here. One more over there. And somewhere, if you don't want to be seeing so much, it just soften that. Okay, this is good enough. Now the overall is very nice. Since I have the needed eraser, now I'm gonna come in over here, star, clean up some lighter area and the face, like some the forehead. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter. Okay. And that's a little bit lighter. Okay, take a look at the nose. All right, I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter. Don't make everything lighter. You need to see that in comparison. What is lighter? What is not so light? And the face away in the cheek, I'm gonna move it out a little bit. That's good. Ah, oh, that's simple. And I think this is good enough. Very small. That's good. Okay. Very nice. Okay, take a look on this side. I'm gonna clean this area a little bit later. That's good. And take a look at the chin over here. Open up. That's good. Down over here. A little bit later. Like that. And then on the side of the mouth, I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter over here. That's good. I mean like this. Okay. Ooh, pretty nice. Now we're coming down over here. Here you go. That's good. Coming over here, a little bit lighter shape. Ooh, see that? Yeah, not just drawing with uh, the charcoal. You also draw with the light shape. Okay, here you go. Eraser create a light shape. And on the other side, I don't want to make it so, too clear. It's just a little bit softer light shape over there. That's good enough. Like that, that's good. Okay, now take a look here, the front over here. And a little lighter. Okay, that's good. A little shape over here. Now also do a little texture like that. Create a little texture. And this a little bit lighter. There you go. Okay. Very, very simple and nice. Okay, take a look at the arm. It's supposed to be darker. Right, I'm gonna keep it like that. That's fine. And come back, make this a little bit clear and on this side the other color okay here you go that's good now take a look at the bottom over here now i'm going to just draw that create a feeling of uh, the texture at the bottom that's good that's nice okay like this and i come back over here oh I'll give it a little bit more okay maybe a little bit feel, very soft, soft shape. I don't want it to make it too, too much. That's good, like that. Okay, and the bottom, the back over here. Take a look at the shape. Okay, that's good. Add a little line here, that's good. And the top over there, I'm gonna make it a little bit more clear. You see, I make the whole drawing from the big 
the small from outside going slowly going into the inside and take a look and that's good and then yeah open up a little bit okay here you go coming over here okay that's good and then a little thumbnail supposed to be here okay that is all right now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give it a little bit more indication all right here take a look and look again okay a little curve and coming up like this that's very nice I'm gonna make this a little, a little big shadow some catch the shadow right under okay that's very good and over here too and I'm gonna take a look over here give it a little bit and a little shadow over here okay that's good a little line over here all right a little bit line over here Okay, that's good all right very nice and take a look at here I have a little bit darker a little deeper shadow okay here you go like that the thumb would be right over there okay a little bit over here that's good okay Perfect softer. Here you go. Like that. Coming on this side. And over here, just keep a little line. Curve a little bit. That's good. And open up a little bit over there. Okay. I think the hand looks pretty good. Like this. Now I'm going to come into, and I'm going to make this a little bit clear make it a little bit more defined okay that's pretty good now i'm gonna come to the hair over here here you come give it a little bit a little bit like that i'm gonna use the eraser to create a little bit lighter shape right here i'm gonna have a little bit lighter showing the little light shape right there that's good okay here you go like that Let's get soften there a little bit. That's good. Now I'm gonna take a look at the top over here. And the top, here you go, a little bit lighter. All right, that's very good. Here you go. Okay, a little bit coming down. That's good. Okay, keep molding. You need the eraser and seeing that little shape over here you might be thinking about why don't you go to the eye go to the nose we need to make sure all their connection already there drawing the eye drawing the nose I will show you is too easy okay coming up over here make a little bit soft and on this side also going to have a little bit light shape over here like that that's good it's just a little bit light shape it will make people have the imagination that's good a little bit lighter over there that's good like that a little bit lighter over here now all right now we're going to come in to draw the eye Okay, I'm going to use this stick to help me. I'm going to use a, the not the extra soft. I'm going to use a little bit more. Uh, here you go. This hard. Hard is good. So I'm going to uh, do a little sharpening. I'm going to use a knife to sharpen it to make it a little bit easier to draw the details. I 
I have a video about how to sharpen our charcoal pencil. Okay, that's good. All right, now I'm gonna come in here. First, let's take a look. And I'm gonna draw this eye. Start over here. See the corner of that. Right here. Okay, look again. Don't rush. Okay, that's good. Right here. There you go. Coming on this side. A very beautiful smiley eye. Okay, here you go. And I have a little line right on the top. That's good. Like this. It's good. Okay. And coming on this side here, this is the iris. Here you go. Start over here. You can see a little highlight right over there. Let's get and take a look at the lower eyelid. I'm gonna draw a little shape over here. It's not really that dark. Like that, that's good. And the eyebrows above the eye over here, coming in a little bit right over here. Like that, we can come back to modify it with the eraser. Now take a look at this side. And the corner, where's the corner? Right here. Here you go. Here you go. Look around, go around over here. This is the shape of the eye. This is good. Making sure you get the angle correctly. And could this eye could be a little bit lower. I'm just gonna make it slightly a little bit lower, like that. And this corner can be a little bit lower. That's good. I'm gonna have another line above. Okay, look, analyze it before you draw it. Okay, that's pretty good. Now take a look at the, here you go, the iris. So right here. That's good, look again like this okay maybe the iris can be a little bit lower a little bit bigger okay that's good now you can see leave the little highlight over there when we come back to take care of the highlight okay that's good right here okay now take a look at the uh, definitely, that eye is a little bit too high. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come back here, use the eraser, and I'm gonna first do a little clean up on this side. Here you go. That's a little bit lighter. Over here, that's good. I'm gonna use my finger, soften the area, and lessen a little bit between here. That's good. I'm going to soften that a little bit. And also the middle of the eye, the eye wide, a little bit lighter. Okay, here you go. Okay, and a little eye wide. Can be a little bit lower. That's good. And I'm going to make this eye just a little bit lower. So I'm going to make that over here. Like that, the slightly, slightly, very little lower. So now we did that low. Okay, that's good. Okay, soften that. We're gonna double check on the outline a little bit later after we do enough to the inside. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna take a look at again. Use the hot charcoal pencil. And coming back here, I'm going to make 
is a little bit softer on the eyebrows. Now coming back here. Now first I'm gonna make the bottom over here a little bit lower. A little bit lower. That's good. Now it look better. Now the corner over here. Also a little bit lower. Like that. There you go, the top over here, a little bit lower. Okay, that's good. Now coming on this side, this line, just slightly, a little bit lower. Now you got the corner coming over here. That's good. Uh-huh. Now I'm going to draw the line again. Very simple line. Don't have to make it too clear. Now we're coming back to this side. That's good. Like that. That's good. Now, very well. I prepare my nose. Prepare her nose. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to have this erase a little bit light shape over here. That's good. We have a portrait fundamentals coming up in April. So if you haven't taken it, come to enjoying our classes. Take a look. It does fit your schedules. Okay, coming over here to come out a little bit on the cheek. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have this a little bit softer. And I'm gonna let go a little bit. Just use the eraser and the charcoal. Okay, that's good. Now I'll come back with the charcoal pencil. Yeah, take a look. And on this side, the nose right in here. Okay, the bottom of the nose right over here. That's good. Just to make it a little bit clear. Look at the nostril. Standing over here. Here you go. Here you go, like that. Be aware of the value and the value range of a certain area. Okay, that's coming a little bit up over here, like that. That's good. On the other side, extend a little bit to see a little bit about the other wing of the nose. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I'm going to have this a little bit darker, like that. So the other side of the cheek, like that's good. I'm going to use my, just my finger softly. Okay, now take a look at the mouth. The mouth is already here. Now take a look at from the from the nose coming to the mouth and see a little triangle at the corner. Okay, that's good. Now take a look at the upper lip right over here. Okay, and like here. That's good. You see how easy, how enjoyable when you have the big relationship already there and just come back to enjoy the details like right here. Okay, that's good. You don't have to draw the each of the each T because it's not really that clear. Especially so small. Okay, here you go. Like that. Very important to make the whole row of T looks like rounded okay that's very important it has shadow has light okay coming back here okay like that a little bit softer that's good all right now give a little mark at the bottom over here a little bit mark see a little bit like that coming on this side that's good. Now take a look at the lower lip of the mouth. 
That's good. All right, I'm gonna make this a little bit softer, like that. All right. I'm gonna come back with the eraser. I'm gonna see that here, a little bit lighter. There you go. Okay, on this side, a little bit more lighter. And softer. Coming to the outside, over here. That's very nice. Take a look over here, a little bit softer. There you go, like that. Okay, and I'm going to soften this area. Now coming back here, I'm gonna move this a little bit higher, right there. That's good. Now I'm going to remove some of the thing that I don't need to keep it. I'm gonna copy, put it over here, coming down. And I'm gonna have this extend it to the outside. Okay, that's good. And I'm gonna open up the bottom over here. Look at this smaller shape. Okay, that's nice. Okay, now take a look at the bottom over here. I'm gonna make this a little bit flat first. That's good, like that. And the chin, a little bit sharper. Okay, and over here, extend that a little bit. Moving that a little bit more clear. Mm. Very good. Okay, now over here, I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter. Okay, showing that it's a cylinder over here. A little bit lighter. Like that. That's pretty good. Okay. Here we go. A little bit lighter over here too. Okay. Now it looks very nice, the bottom over here. I'm gonna have the bottom over here also a little bit lighter. Here you go. Oh, that's good. That's her smiling. Okay, like that. And over here, can it be a little bit lighter? So always compare, comparing the value. Okay, here you go, like that. That's very good, very good. Now I'm gonna come back to, we find, oh, actually I missed the lower eyelet. I need to put that over here. There you go. That's good. A little bit dark over here too, a little bit softer, right over here. And then give a little bit Suggestions, that is the eyelashes. That's good. A little bit eyelashes over here too. That's good. The corner, like that. Okay, make that a little bit softer. And like a eyebrow coming in here. I'll take a look at this side, the eyebrow. Right over here. Okay, now I'm gonna fine tune the um, the edge, the contour of the face. First, make that a little bit lighter first. Okay, on this side, a little bit lighter over here. Okay, that's just good. On this side, a little bit softer over here. Okay, that's good enough. I'm gonna take a look at from the top. Here you go, I'm gonna use a little bit darker charcoal pencil. Yes, here we go, coming over here. That's good, like that. Okay, make that a little bit softer. Okay, like this, that's good. 
Okay, take a little edge over here. And a little bit coming in here, a little bit curve. Coming in like this, a little bit in, a little bit. Also, I'm going to give it a little line coming down over here. See this, the hair on the top over here. I'm going to give a little line coming over here. Here you go. Draw slowly, like that. Okay, very beautiful. Okay. And coming on this side. Okay, here you go. A little line like this. Okay, like that. A little soft line. I'm going to use finger to smudge it and make a little bit soft over here. And over here, I'm going to show that line coming up like that. A little line over here. That's good. Okay, now I'm going to use the knit eraser to lift a little bit light. Here you go coming like this way. That's good. Coming up a little bit. Move the charcoal coming up. A little bit over here. I'm going to have a little line coming down this way. Okay, that's good. I try to make it look interesting. You don't have to do exactly what the reference Use your own judgment to see how it will look like. Make it all interesting. Okay, that's good. Okay. And also at the bottom over here, I'm gonna have a little hair coming out like this. Alright, now this drawing, this portrait is finished.